Greetings, once again my dear friends. Welcome back to Alan Wake 2. Saga's having an explore. She needs to get to Coffee World. Because, well, the click is somewhere in Watery anyway. Whatever the clicker may be, she's not sure. Spookiness. And where are we? We're there. Yep, this is surely just before the shit's about to hit the fan. I think he wants to, Saga. I still got one of my crossbow bolts back. And we're going down this way first. Stop putting the damn thing away. It's another one of these things. What do we got now? Musto. Another crossbow bolt for the look of things. Deer doll. Okay, so. <coughs> The gentle beast with a beautiful crown runs through the woods with a worried frown. From the hunter he flees between the mighty trees to make it out alive. Okay, so... Deodol in the woods? Think, Saga. Moostol in the woods. Makes sense. Okay, now I'll grab that. And...
Well, shit, that's a big ass moose. A charm. It is a charm. I'm not going to use it, though. Okay, we are here, doing this thing. Hmm. Cult symbols everywhere. Suppose that will happen when there is a cult locally. Now I'm willing to bet there's a stash of some kind up here and probably something to try and kill me. Maybe even both. Probably both, I would say. Oh, a manuscript page as well. Never say no to a manuscript page. What had kept Watery afloat all these years? A century, if not more. The locals knew the answer. Grit. Or as they put it in the language of their Finnish forefathers, Sisu. These days, Sisu was need more than ever. The town was fading. It never quite recovered from the lumber mill shutting its doors. Now the fishing was drying up as well. Most people had left to find jobs in other towns. Only the most tenacious stubbornly remained. Dug in. Parasites in the body of a terminal patient. Sisu. Some people tried to resuscitate the town. The Koskala brothers double-handedly warded off the impending darkness with their ventures. Coffee World brought tourists, money, and jobs. Coffee-themed fun for all ages. The Kalavala Knights Motorcycle Club built parade floats. The bikers repaired vehicles and volunteered locally. But it wouldn't be enough. Watery needed a miracle. The end of the road was in sight. It was coming fast. Well, that seems fairly bleak. The cult is leaving supplies around for themselves. I found another dead taken over by the radio tower. Looked like it was bashed to death. There was a lunchbox and some weird knitting by the corpse, too. They took care of their body, but that's the third one this month. Everyone keep your eyes peeled. We need to find this guy and let him know the cult of the tree means business. I don't know, do you, though? First off, it's not a guy. It's Rose doing that. <coughs> ah. Oh. Ah. Eh. Eh. Damn it. Yeah, I really don't think a fuse or a heart is going to open that. That's awkward and irritating. I prefer being able to open stashes. Crossbow bolts, thank you very much. A 
another locked box. Yep, locked. But new game plus, so that's probably the box that uh, Saga got the crossbow out of. I don't remember. It was a while between playthroughs. Righty, righty. Okay, another manuscript page. Cool. Saga was beginning to see why Casey disliked the woods so much. <laughs> they felt oppressive here. Too many places to hide. The distorted carnival music drifting from the amusement park ahead did not help. What the Koskalis had said about her living in Watery with Logan unsettled her. For the horror story to involve her was one thing, but involving her daughter was crossing a line. Something darted across the path ahead, too fast to see. Saga drew her weapon. Her eyes searched the woods, a noise overhead. Saga swiveled to look, a local, a man on the ridge above her. No, not a man, a monster with a hatchet in each hand. It shouted down at her. Hunting season was a bust. Suppose it did, like that. Okay. Okay, I can't open that, so Radio Tower, I think, is next. What's up here? Not going that way yet. Just not. Huh, crap. Nothing in there. There's nothing worse than an empty flipping stash box.
Okay, first off, ammo stash, secondly, knitting, 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 another one of those lunch boxes, lunch box, I lowered my rifle, standing on the car's roof I looked out at the carnage, Zombies had almost won, but luckily I was here. Heroes are sometimes the people we least expect to save, uh, we least expect them to be. Now my town was finally safe, thanks to me. I slung the hot piece of iron over my shoulder one more time, hoping for the last time. Hopefully for the last time. The townspeople, cautiously emerging from their hiding places, surveyed the same carnage I saw and cheered my name, and I waved, and they cheered again. Now I can finally get back to my quiet, unassuming life, reading books and gardening and fiber crafts and being world's top mycology expert. Suddenly a hand seized my wrist. I looked into the eyes of the sweet, sensitive writer I had known since childhood. A smile spread across his beautiful, kind face, and I felt at peace for the first time since the zombies had first emerged. You did it! I knew you could! Now we can live in peace together for the rest of our days. Aha! Uh -huh, seven fragments. That's actually a reasonable amount. Now, over here, we have yet another. One of those rhymes. <coughs> Have a look for dolls first, though. Though there might not be any at this one. I remember there being a couple in my first playthrough that you had to recycle dolls that you'd already found. <coughs> Excuse me. Three little deers ventured to Rome and found a nice place to eat and play. One little deer never came home, and two of the deers cried all day. I'm going to assume probably the woods. Hmm. No. Doesn't make sense. Hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. Okay. Let me grab the deer doll. Shit. Oh, shit. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Ha! <laughs> 
Damn shadow wolf bastards! Gonna run out of ammo at this rate. That's one down. Damn it! On toast! No, that's very much not how the story goes. That's better. Now the dead deer. I can use this charm on my bracelet. Ah, right. Now where the hell are we? Okay. Now we have this horrible fucking gauntlet of Taken down here to get through. Wonderful! Just the one dude. Hmm. <coughs> Evidently, I'm not getting that bolt back. Oh well. Can't win them all.
Oh. More knitting. Coloured rocks. It's another, another lunchbox. Hi, Hero. I think a few pieces of paper from my fav private fanfiction project got mixed into some of these stashes, but I don't know which ones. I posted some online, and they're getting pretty good reviews, but I'd appreciate it if you didn't read them. It's a privacy thing. can indeed hear the faint sounds of Coffee World in the distance. Very faint at the moment. Ranger Cabin. Hmm. The uh, Ranger Cabin is underwater at the moment. Someone's been fishing here. Hopefully not while people have been riding the rides, because that could get awkward real quick. can say is I hope Saga doesn't need the bathroom because porta potties are probably not pleasant in these sorts of locations. Not that they're ever pleasant. Ah, another manuscript page. Scratch stalked through the forest, a terrifying dark presence in the night, more sensed than seen. Darkness boiled in his skull, like a storm cloud crammed into a bottle. The woods were alive with those he had taken. They were coming with him, directed by him, his army of darkness. His singular purpose was a sharp, pulsing black hole in his head, waves roaring out of it to whip his flock into a frenzy. Filling them with his purpose. The clicker. He wanted it. To frenzy, make his the frenzy should be spelled with the a Z. Come true. The art was there. <clears throat> the clicker would push it across the final threshold. A detonator to send out a tidal wave that would spread to overtake reality. He was so close to claiming it. The Taken gibbered and shouted, straining against their invisible leashes, filled with bloodlust. Scratch let them go. They launched themselves into the night with violent glee. He ripped a signpost from the ground, swung it in his hands as if it was made of air. Ahead, the music started. It called him on. Let the final deer fence commence. Not the final deer fest. Okay. Let's do Hello? this. Anyone here? Nope. Did they get out? Did the Taken get them? Or were they turned into Taken? 
I'll need to get the key to the trailer park myself. Ilmo said the key is kept in the gift shop safe. Okay. <clears throat> Locked. Need something to jimmy it open with. Which stash key, cult necklace, and shortcut key are not going to work. A list of maintenance work. Okay. 27th of June, Coffee World entrance sign defaced, cleaned with detergent, wax sign, should be good until someone tags it again tomorrow, Victor. 5th of July, slow roaster pot is stuck, won't swing, I hit it with some WD-40, seems good for now, Yako. WD-40's good shit. Logged maintenance, 19th of July, 23. Fallen tree near, near Latte Lagoon. Should probably call the tree guy. Chainsawed and removed, keeping the wood. Yako. August 12th, several burned out bulbs on percolator. Replaced and ordered more bulbs. Stuart. 9th, um, 1st of September. Squeaking on Latte Lagoon and Car Bay. I tightened the bolts, less bad now, Yako. 10th of September, percolator control panel jammed, removed front with screwdriver. Found a penny in there! Stuart. Rude. A screwdriver? Huh. Hey, the lock is jammed again. Forced it last time with a screwdriver, which has disappeared. Again. Put shit back when you use it. Well, okay. Um, I should have been able to just step over that, I reckon. Low fence. But, fine, whatever. Okay. Now... Okay, okay. Case board. Don't need to go over all this again. Coffee world. The most caffeinated place on earth. <laughs> and yet nobody's here to help me get that key. Gift shop door is locked. <sighs> Getting inside the gift shop. Use the screwdriver, but where's the screwdriver? Using screwdrivers to break into gift shops isn't exactly Last used on the percolator. Procedure. Okay, that's fine. Lunch boxes. Damn, that's um watery. <sighs> Watery. Um, nursery rhymes. Watery rhymes, no? Ah, dolls, of course. That's watery rhymes. No, that's... It's alright. Ah! Cops, 
stashes. And the story. Stories affecting more people's memories. Will my memories change? <clears throat> ah. And that's for later. Okay, cool. So, the percolator. Okay. This is the right way. This way, is it? Hit a balloon to win. Well, you know what? We're here. I don't think I won anything, though. Oh, damn. No more room in the inventory now. And this is, uh... Damn you, you son of a bitch! I don't know what the hell was going on there. I was trying to zap him with light, but for some reason my game was wanting to reload, or well, Saga was wanting to reload the damn shotgun. That's... Okay then. Awkward. Quite frankly. Oh 
Okay. Well, those bastards are now dead. Hey, this should get that gift shop open. That's a screwdriver, all right. Okay, now, back to the gift shop. With extra taken. Shit! monsters is an ideal goal quite honestly if anyone's ever going to complain about less monsters then I've got some severe problems Now, I've gone the wrong way. Because the gift shop is up here. Screwdriver! Now open the door. Now where is that safe? Another manuscript page. Sorry, we're in uh, Bright Falls Blend. <coughs> Anna apologized to the customers. I'll just grab some from the back. More coffee coming right up. She suggested they ride the percolator while they waited. She passed Ilmo at the Espresso Express. Big smile, Anna. Coffee world is all smiles. Anna nodded, smiled. She smiled until her face hurt. Anna stopped walking, realized she was standing next to the Huatari well. Must have zoned out, she thought. She was about to go, but something in the well caught her eye. A shadow shifting in the dark. Anna was overcome by vertigo. The world tilted, and then she was falling down, down, down into the shaft. The darkness opened up to swallow her. Uh, <coughs> well, that's a bit shit. Actually, you know what? Let's see about a weapon upgrade. What can we do with the, with the shotgun? 
Move faster while aiming. Or... More bullets or another headshot? Hmm. Go with another Saga headshot, was why sure not? She had hit the Taken in the head, but had not even slowed the monster down. She took aim and fired again. Another headshot. This time, the Taken staggered. Excellent. Okay. This is a disturbing gift shop. I guess a toy knife will do. Toy puka knife. Hey Elmo, heads up. Got another angry voicemail from a parent about her kid poking himself in the eye with one of the souvenir pukos. Whose grand idea was it to sell kids plastic knives in a coffee themed amusement park anyway? Oh right, it was yours. Jeff, I need another moose favor. Mocha was doing just fine. He even got a glowing vet report, and then BAM, they say it was a heart attack. I'm not blaming you. Maybe you just had a bad ticker. No tolerance for stimulants either. We're telling the kids that Mocha's taking a little vacation, but I can really use your help ASAP to maintain continuity. Do you have any more in stock? Thanks in advance, Ilmo. You can't just replace your moose with a fresh moose. Or well, maybe Locked. you can, I don't know. Okay. Why did it change the damn the password to the code. safe again? I thought it was look out, fix a supplier. Who hurt you? Why are you so paranoid? Calm down, this one's easy. Tracker, look out, cleaner. See, not rocket science. Tracker, look out, cleaner. Okay. I need to open the safe. What's the combination? People hate the puzzle, Zuma. Why not just use keys? People love the puzzles, Yaku. Only very smart people can think up good puzzles. Just look around and you will find the answer. Dedicated staff will be rewarded. The combination to the safe is somewhere in the gift shop. Okay. Somewhere in the gift shop. Tracker, look out, cleaner. Okay. Coffee World staff. Hope they're not all monsters now. News of the week. Remember to bring your liability forms for Tuesdays. Bring your dog to Coffee World Day. The photos have stickers on them. Congratulations to Thomas for completing his first year at Coffee World. As usual, this work anniversary earns you a free packet of freshly ground coffee. The percolator is unfortunately undergoing maintenance, but don't worry, we'll fix it as soon as possible. Susan's lost and found. Stuart on maintenance. Thomas the ride operator. Victor the janitor. Nina, gift shop. Yuna, security. Lucy, the caregiver, Robin, park walk around, and Anna at the concession stand. Hmm. Aha. Uh -huh. Stickers indicate how many years people have worked. Find a guy who likes Sudokus. Okay. So, what was it? It was...
Tracker Lookout Cleaner. Tracker Lookout Cleaner. Let's see. Tracker, that's the park walk around, I think. Lookout is security. So is that two, four, six? Cleaner. Tracker, lookout, cleaner. Two, four, six. Let us see if that wants to work. Clearly not. Tracker lookout cleaner, okay. Four, four, six, maybe? Caregiver security janitor. I don't know. No. Shitting shit shit. Maybe lost and found its tracker. There's obviously four and six, because it's got to be security and janitor. That's got to be lookout and cleaner. Surely. There we go. The keys to my trailer. Whoa. Now to find the clicker and the colt. Now. How to get out of here. It's just kind of to the right-ish, and then, yeah, okay, no, that's too far to the right-ish, I feel, this to the right-ish, no, Looks like a cult stash up here somewhere. Right There's there, I would stash. say. Wonder what's inside. I should take a look around for a way to open this. Only thing. striped cups. Only striped cups. What the hell? Ah! Aha! Uh -huh. Ha! Ah. Okay. It's four. Seven.
Okay, one four seven. I'm with Yako, by the way. People hate the uh, puzzles. Do not take what is not yours. It's all mine. I will take it all. Actually, I think it might not be a terrible idea to just uh, <coughs> We're sorry, this toilet is temporarily out of order. The fuck? All oh, the toilets are out of order. Get your shit together. Maybe that's the problem. Too much shit was gotten together in one location, that being the toilets. Uh, okay, so slow roaster, I think that's everything to do there. This is completely the wrong way, but I reckon There was a thing... Ah! Okay. Right. just did that. It's fine. It's just registering it because there was a thing that I couldn't pick up because it doesn't exist anymore because I picked it up the last time round. I assume. Probably a weapon. Take that, both of you, apparently. Damn. <coughs> okay. Now we want to go this way. When you ask, Maricetta will speak. I'm sure he will. Well, I'm still pretty sure he'll probably just say wolf. A moosing mocha fact. Mocha's around six years old. Do you know moose can live up to 25 years? Not if you feed him too much fucking coffee. He weighs 820 pounds. <coughs> Did you know moose are the largest species of deer in the world? He loves to swim. 
Did you know they can dive up to 20 feet underwater? Milka's favourite drink is coffee because we got him addicted to coffee because we're horrible people. Milka the Moose. One morning during Coffee World's construction, a wounded moose was discovered taking shelter inside the Fresh Pot gift shop. Through limping, Though limping from a leg injury, the wily moose proved too quick for wildlife rescue. After a long and unsuccessful chase, everyone stopped for a much-needed coffee break, brewing up some of the coffee world's finest. Before the first cup was poured, the moose appeared, drawn by the delicious aroma. He allowed himself to be treated in exchange for a steaming mug of what is now known as Mocha's Signature Blend. Since then, Mocha the Moose has become a beloved fixture of Coffee World, welcoming guests from across the country, as well as personally taste-testing each of our roasts to give them the Mocha seal of approval. And we didn't murder the moose at all, I swear. Except for the moose that they murdered. Okay. Let's get out of here. See you later. Not if anything about it to say have I. Yeah, really, a caffeine-themed flipping thing. Amusement park. You're not going to want to have all the crappers crapped up. Hey, they fixed the bridge. That's nice of them. Well, I can't go that way. <coughs> What's up here? a set of stairs that would in reality do my knees in. But behold, it is a safe room and more of those kids lunch boxes. Aha. But then almost at the same time but not quite another hand grabbed my other wrist. It was my childhood friend's estranged twin brother, a rugged ex-soldier who'd helped me fight back the zombie horde with his chiseled jar and smoldering eyes and worn leather jacket. My heart fluttered like a small bird against its cage. Ignore him, babe. You know I'm who you want. The sensitive friend I'd cared for all my life or the intense warrior I'd known for one harrowing day? How was I ever going to choose? The zombies were easier than this. Nine fragments? That's not too shabby at all. That can get me another upgrade, in fact. Now, where are we? We're there. Okay. All right. Now, onwards this way. Thank <laughs> you. 
screw you guys, come and get me in here. Bastards, you can't. Those bastards are bastards. But why are they such bastards? Ah, lighthouse. <coughs> of course it's a damn lighthouse. Oh, another rhyme. Alrighty. I'll be back momentarily. Won't be a sec. Right, let's see what this is all about. An old watcher of the sea, before his demise, cursed the waters that ruined his eyes, so he played a trick on the ocean deep, the waves to fight and the havocs to wreak. And in doing that wrong, lost his soul's song. So, hero? No. Hmm. Old Watcher of the Sea. Maybe it's the Eye. No. Maybe it's a doll that I don't have yet. It's a doll that I don't have yet because it's one of these. Mother. Trickster. Wise Elder. Need to find the key. Hmm. Okay. Now. An old watcher of the sea. Well, I'm still going to go with Eyeball, and we'll go with Wise Elder. No? Okay. Wise Elder on the sea. No? No, okay. Why is Elder? And then he cursed. See, that ruined his eyes. <laughs> Unless we're going to use the crow as a curse, maybe? Oh. Doesn't look right. No. Okay. Trickster. No. Mother? Nah. <laughs> That's not right. No, it's the wise elder and then the trickster. Okay, there we okay. go. 
Don't know what that did. Or where it did it. Need the key. starting point. I don't know. I don't know. Definitely something up here. Another one of those cult boxes. Okay, okay. So we've got Diamond Three. This isn't wonderfully helpful, but okay, if that's three down down and up up like that is two, I think we can work out what one is by trial and error. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Getting the Anderson brothers on board would be a big win for us, so I'm offering a hundred dollar superstore gift card plus a year's worth of free coffee at the Odea Diner to whoever gets those two to join. Let's get recruiting. Do you really want Tor and Odin as part of your cult? I mean, they're great. They're great dudes, but... Do you really want them as part of your cult? Okay. I see a gazebo ahead. Is it one of those wild killer gazebos? You'll never know.
Hey, I resemble that remark. Glowing reviews by Coffee World magazine. Back to the damn jerky. first watery visit. I'm staying near the lighthouse trailer park at a nice little spot just off the road. It's very quiet here during the day. At night, not so much. I've never been too nervous and can sleep through an earthquake, but here, I don't know, something just feels off. The animals act weird. They're restless at night, making weird noises and running away. And I could swear I hear someone moving around, circling. I'm gonna give it one more night and then move on. Fair enough. Don't actually blame him. This is a weird ass town. Very pretty in the daytime. Very spoopy at night. But, you know, that happens and it's fine. Setter is not afraid of the rough questions. Rough questions? Yeah. I bet he isn't. The page said I'd run into a cultist here. On your toes, Saga. Lost cat. Well, there are plenty of lost cat um, flyers around the place. Maybe Mayor Setter is responsible for them all. In any case, that's enough speculation about the mayor and cat murder. Uh, what can I put in shoebox? Propane tank. There we go. And uh, yeah, another charm. Because, yeah. And now... Um, that'll do. Yeah. Anyway, that is enough for one day, I feel. Saga now has her former home to reacquaint herself with from another life that she didn't live yet and never really did. In any case, 
farewell for now.